Through the Eyes of an American with Disability by Alan Lamb. Who am I? I am my father's son. I am a big brother to my siblings. I am a digital graphic designer. I am an artist. And I am an American with a disability. About me. Due to a back injury close to three years ago, I lived my life very differently compared to what I, I, it was before. I was a produce man for 20 plus years in a big supermarket chain in the Bay Area. I was healthy, active, able to get around with no problem. I played bowling and other sports in my spare time, able to walk, run without any problem. Now, after the injury, life is different compared to before. Now I have problems walking, so my my mobility has been quite limited. With this series of picture, I would like to show my everyday life and how I overcome these difficulties and the beauties behind everyday items that we use every day, similar to Rico Kuiachi's style. Throughout the eyes of an American living with disability. I would like to share a quote with you. We may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated. Amaya Angelo. Did you know 61 million adults in the United States live with a disability? And that's 26% or one in four. Wow, so many. The percentage of people living with disability, it's all throughout the country, but it is the highest in the south of the United States. Many of these adults with disabilities have many different type of issues, such as mobility, connotation, independent living, hearing, vision, and self-care, just to name a few. Free food distrib- distribution. Many Americans with, with and without disability rely on many food distribution centers such as these. These sets are photos of the food distribution center near Oakland Coliseum. And I'd like to thank all the volunteers and the donations. The picture on the left shows a man orchestrating traffic just to make sure everybody's parked properly before they start distributing the food. Picture on the right shows all the car lined up with the back trunk open, ready to receive their parcel of food. These volunteers work six to eight hours on each of the food distribution days to help many Americans to make sure there is food on their tables to feed every family and make sure no one goes hungry. Everyday life. Many Americans live with a disability, has their life altered, having to use many different devices to help them with simple everyday tasks. Here, the picture on the left is what I use to take a bath. Instead of your typical stand-up showers, I have to sit on a bath stool and using the faucet unit there that you see, I would then clean myself and shower that that way on the right i it has shows a picture of a toilet Uh, when i can obviously i use the toilet but on the moments where time is sensitive i would have always have a urinal around just in case shoes picture on the left shows 
the type of shoes I usually wear, the diesel shoes, I find them comfortable and stylish before the accident. And the shoe that's on the right of that diesel shoe is what I wear now, a black colorless giant shoes with Velcros. On the right of these shoes, this is what the black shoe looks like up close with my ankle brace, which I need to wear when I walk long distances. Stylish, right? <laughs> On the left, it shows my sink when I walk up to the sink. I have to use the walker, use that device there, which has wheels. I would stand up on it and hold for balance. When I get tired, the black flap that's in the front folds down into a comfortable seat. On the right of this picture, it shows that same walker I would stand in my kitchen when I cook. When I cook, I use the walk of the same thing for balance and also if I need to take a rest, I can put down the seat to rest. Mobility. On the right, it shows a wheelchair. That wheelchair I sat in for close to three or four months. When I first got injured, I could barely stand up even with a walker. So I would have to sit on this wheelchair and wheel myself around the house. With hundreds of hours of physical therapy, acupuncture, massages, I have now graduated over to the blue walker and also a walking cane. Here sits a medicine. On the left, you see this clamper-like device I use. Due to the injury, I have problem bending over with my back. And I would need to use that clamper to pick up everyday items that I would drop on the floor. That clamper is the same device that you see when you see people picking up garbages in the freeway. On the right, it shows a number of the medicines that I would take. There are a lot. <laughs> Leisure activities. Playing video games can increase the creativity and problem solving abilities and teamwork. People with the disability, on the other hand, have less opportunities to enjoy video game. Those visually impaired may unable to participate in high graphic video game while those mobile with mobile issues may be unable to utilize your typical game controller. Nevertheless, there are numbers of options available to gamers with disabilities. Individuals and organization have stepped up and to adapt Altering controls for people with disability, audio games, and audio adaptation of games have been created for computer programmers for those who are blind or visually handicapped to play. In addition, accessibility and review of new games are published by video game professionals. Gaming is a great equalizer for most disability Americans due to the fact that we feel when we play, we are competing at the same level as you, a normal American, would be. In the end, I like to say that we are the same as you. Don't look at me as disabled. I am just as able. No matter what I look like on the outside, I am just like you on the inside. I am a, an able American, just like you. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I really hope that you really enjoy my slides. I'd like to leave you with, we are Americans, home of the brave. Until we stand, unite we stand. Banners we wave. We are one. We are one. 
I hope you enjoy my show. Thank you, and have a great day.